changes to Generation Z. Plus, are your streaming habits impacting your sleep? Today, we want to know, are your streaming viewing habits getting in the way of those all-important Zs? Just let us know using the hashtag, you know, BBC is live. It's all too easy, isn't it? You start watching one episode and you think one more, one more, one more, and the hours just go. Very warm welcome to Business Live. Good to have you with us. Oil is once again in the spotlight. As one of the world's most important commodities, its price can influence the cost of everything from filling up our cars to shipping goods around the world. For the top oil producing nations, it also underpins government finances. So perhaps what everyone at the World Petroleum Congress in Turkey wants most is stability to give them a chance to plan ahead. As you can see from the graph here, uh, while a global deal between major producers, though not the US, to limit supply has somewhat, somewhat stabilised the price of the black stuff, oversupply now means the price is falling once again. In fact, the oil price is down more than 12% this year, with a global uptick in demand proving insufficient to absorb the rising output, a lot of that coming from the United States. Now, the latest data that we have shows that US oil production, which is driven by shale oil output, rose 1% last week to 9.34 million barrels per day. Now, it used to be the case that US shale production wouldn't be cost-effective, wouldn't be worth doing if the price was below $50 a barrel. However, efficiency has increased, Technology has advanced and it's changed all of that. So since 2013, the average price at which it becomes profitable has dropped from $80 a barrel down to $35. Alice. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Well, uh, Trevor Sikorsky is the head of natural gas and carbon at Energy Aspects. Many thanks for coming in to us this morning. Ben, they're talking a lot about oil. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Rex Tillerson is an oil man, so it's uh, expected that he might talk at length about it in Turkey. He actually didn't. The focus was more on gas, wasn't it? Particularly the export and transit of gas. Yes, and I think that's one of the interesting things about this is thematically, when you look at the conference, it's as much about gas and about sustainability as it is about oil. And I think it's almost like, yes, there's a lot of supply out there and, and kind of reigning in supply has been a challenge this year, but really the longer term challenges are more on the demand side. What's going to happen with energy, energy transition? And certainly, you know, what role does gas play in that, which is quite a big role, and what role does renewables play in that? And all of that's probably going to squeeze oil. And why do you think Rex Tillerson chose that tack? Well, I think he's now he's not speaking as the head of you know the world's largest oil company. Mm -hmm. He is talking as the Secretary of State of the U.S. And a really, really big part you know of U.S. policy under Trump has been pushing ahead uh, in trying to progress U.S. natural gas exports. Mm -hmm. And certainly, uh, last year we saw the U.S. becoming a, a you know for the first time a natural gas exporter, investing a lot in export capacity from the U.S. And certainly, this is a really, really big thing for Trump. It's important because a it creates jobs domestically, and b of course it makes gas more expensive in the U.S., which is good for coal, and that's another big part of Trump. We talk often about the impact of um, uh, shale production in the U.S. and um, how that contributes to the glut around the world of, of, of you know, oil and, and, and gas, and, and that keeps the prices suppressed. It's dr dramatic, isn't it? The level at which it's become profitable has dropped from $80 a barrel down to 35 and that will surely just encourage the shale producers to keep pumping the stuff out. Absolutely, and, uh, and um, the efficiency gains in shale production, it's a, it's a new technology and we've seen huge, huge increases continuing, uh, you know, in, in, in technological terms that the advancements of those techniques have, have, have really just been extraordinary. But I think, uh, and what they do do, of course, is they do, you know, create more supply um, at some point. And certainly we are starting to see, you know, with the latest downtick in, in, in crude prices, a little bit of slowing of the... Uh, uh, of drilling activity in the US, but it's still healthy, it's still going to put, put stuff out there. And it's not going to be helped, uh, the, the demand for oil, by uh, big car companies like Volvo, VW, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. saying that they're going to try and get rid of their you know, internal combustion engines, go all electric, and, uh, and Tesla today unveiling you know, its, its mass market model. Well, and I think this is the big, you know, the big threat for oil is the electrification of 
uh, of transport. And you know, it's exciting because it's brand new technology. It's also very, very good for the climate. Um, but within that, of course, you need to have low carbon fuels then generating a lot of electricity. Gas plays into that well because it's a lot low car it's a lot less carbon intensive than either generating with oil, which we don't do very much of, or coal, which globally we do an absolute, mm. you know, a very, very big amount. So I think when you look ahead, you know, certainly as a transition fuel, gas has a really big role to play. And I think that's why, you know, it's being it is so high on the agenda at this conference. Okay, Trevor, good to talk to you. Trevor Sikorsky there you. from Energy Aspects. Many thanks for coming in. Good to thanks. see you. Right, let's take a look now at some uh, other business stories making the news. And the tobacco giant, Philip Morris, has been ordered to pay millions of dollars in legal fees after unsuccessfully suing the Australian government over its plain packaging law. In 2012, Australia legislated that cigarettes must be sold in unappealing packets with graphic health warnings.